It was probably his favorite sentence he's ever spoken. Brian Harmon said after claiming the John Deere Classic his first PGA Tour victory, I packed my passport and a couple of jackets and I can't wait to get on that plane. The plane he was speaking about, the charter to the Open Championship as his first win, punched the last ticket on the PGA Tour to the Open. Even before the W, Harmon was a story. When his caddy, Scott Tway, fell ill in the middle of his round on Thursday, needing medical attention, Harmon called to the crowd asking if anyone could jump on his bag. Well, high school coach Jay Hatch offered up his services, saying, I can carry your bag if you don't need any help rooting putts, and that worked out just fine. Harmon kicked off his week with a tidy 63. Harmon, by the way, is the sixth Georgia Bulldog to claim victory this season. They're taking over even more so than the Aussies. But you know what's taking over the web.com tour? Facial hair. At the Utah Championship, there was a mustache competition going on. And I have to tell you, I've looked at these photos of James Nitties a lot this week, and it's no less disturbing than the very first time I saw it. He won the contest with what he's calling the Motash. Yeah, it wraps all the way around his head. So I guess congratulations. Now, for all you equipment geeks out there, what I'm about to show you is just pure golf porn. Scotty Cameron has officially opened his first gallery that is open to the public. Not only can you get the same custom fitting experience that the pros receive, which is two hours and costs 350 bucks, but you can purchase putters that have been used across the world on other tours, as well as custom made putters. And I will leave you with the seemingly endless talents of Mr. Jason Duffner. We can now add to his resume, fortune teller. So back in December, the Duff tweeted this out to Johnny Football and LeBron James. Both of you are coming to Cleveland to save my professional teams and take them to many championships, right? Well, the major champion dug that tweet back out, pointing out just how good that prediction was. That's all I got for you this week, but find me on Twitter using the hashtag. And of course, enjoy the third major championship of the year.